But hello, hello, everybody. We, last time, finished Assassin's Creed 1. It was a bit janky, as is its existence as an old game that was trying to kind of fuse. <laughs> it's basically the beta Ubisoft sandbox in a lot of ways, while still at the same time being a decently linear game. It was interesting, and its story was completely cliffhangered, which is kind of hilarious if you think about, but that's why this exists, to be a slightly more polished version, to the point that a lot of people say that Assassin's Creed 1 is a beta version of Assassin's Creed 2. But without further ado, we'll just type in name and go. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. He's a prisoner of war. I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought I do like real. this opening Templars, cinematic. Assassins. It has the reuse of the animus showed me the truth. Old stuff. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using a, it. a part of me wonders if they could just go and be like, eh, it's an <laughs> throw this on. One of many so-called pieces of evil. Uh, that's, then again, I guess that's why a lot of people say, oh, just skip the two. Of course they yeah, showed the knee breaking. The like, yeah, this was an important part of the game. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first Fitting to show the slaves of what would part of that. I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. I do like I that they're just like, they didn't even do it with the new Maybe graphics, they're just to. reusing, like, footage from Assassin's Creed 1. I guess that's a, to She's kind of my side. bring She's the excitement of like, oh, She's suddenly. Taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. That's one I thing I don't get. She was what taken away. All I know is I she need walked to away. Out of here. And I need to do it soon. I need to do it today. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. That's right, you're probably wondering how I got here. But first things first, I think I'm going to raise up things ever so slightly. Just slightly. Audio balancing is a bitch. We have to go. Hi, Lucy. Lucy where you, you look been? actually good. Now. Just... <laughs> much better than before. What's with the blood? Get in. What's hey. with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes. Only maybe ten minutes? Before they figure out what I've done. We probably have we're seven minutes. We're not on the road before then. Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. <laughs> get in the Animus. All right. Animus time! I do kind of miss the little blinky red light. It was just like, press any button. I don't know, it brought a bit of spice to it, rather than just... Flippity bloop. Subject 17, Desmond Miles. Subject 16, Confidential. Now oh, that's such a cool name. <laughs> What's your name, your kid? Confidential. So what you're saying is that Subject 16 was my cousin. Spingy! Spingy! Di nuovo! Spingy just sounds like a weird word. And I, and I do not care if I am mocking the Italians. <laughs> Italians are not an oppressed class as far as I'm aware of. Oh my love! Unless it, Italy has become a dystopia Did I miss it? in the past late? few months. Give, Give me the dead here. child. I will Your resurrect God. him. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. I do find it kind of funny that this game actually has uh, 
freaking subtitles because they actually use the in-universe language a bit more. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Frenze. Oh yeah, and just so you know, uh, to get my expressions to work, I do have to go through the same annoying process. Get up. I don't know why. I just do. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There we don't a have a sec. Desmond. We have to leave. Oh no, she took the future floppy disk. And now we enter into the polished era of Assassin's Creed. Uh, really getting out of here, huh? Sturgo's Why do you have to jog when I can't jog? Decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm calling You're not even in. trying to grab at the seam. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research wing. That's walls. Fancy. <laughs> there they are! Don't let them get away! You are terrible security. <laughs> also, harsh. Holy shit! I mean, what'd you expect? We're being broken out. Also, don't take a baton with you. Maybe they have microchips? Are you afraid of microchips? And we can still do that. Nice. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So nighttime? It was always bright in there. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Unless the windows are just lights. Careful. That's a lot of Xboxes. Maze we time. Need to get to that elevator on the other side oh no. Abstergo is the worst place of all. Cubicle hell. Avoid a fight. This must be its call center. Now she's actually that running at a good clip. Wait. Careful. You're the one that stops suddenly. How many of them are there? Lots. Considering Wait. that the multiplayer in the future games it. are based around this. I... What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond. You know. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He's been Please. he's been trapped in here going through memories. He's kind of nonchalant in danger zones. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system and I don't have the code. Wait. I can see fingerprints. Shit. Oh, come on. Not very good system if it's like, oh, you messed up twice, be gone. How did you do that? Eagle I vision. Don't know. Let's go. Apparently, Altair was the epitome of a hacker. It's always something. What was that in the Animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi hmm. something? I think Audi the car. All along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. Only what part? Do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? To hell. Time for battle. Altessa Massima. Mitre. Just random throws. <laughs> Not even throw, just random punches. These guards have a lot of health. Get that what guy out of the way. Meanwhile, <laughs> Lucy's over there probably just kicking ass. Me somehow I'm just essentially just annoying these guys to death. <laughs> she is doing so much more damage than me. I did put a guy through a pillar, though, so I must be worth something. What even license plate is that? Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Are, is it, though? We're just left their parking lot. Also, you'd think they would have a more secure parking lot. I don't know how there's light in a trunk that changes, but I am not a trunk expert. I am not a kidnapper. 
you know. Totally not. Thanks for that. It was great. You'd shove in the trunk, bouncing around. Loved this it. way. So, you gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Those are big we uh, need your help. containers. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? <laughs> Sturgo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can. But I thought I was the last of them. What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every I mean, day, they do have corporations. I still don't see how and I And rigor this. elections. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this. And even if I was, it would take months. Years even. Probably. No. Not with the animus. Not, not with, with the, the bleeding, bleeding effect. effect. But I'm just one guy. You know, because Sometimes, this exists. That's all you need. So that's why you And they also made it better so you ancestor. aren't locked in place. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. Sounds impressive. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? And to save you. And keep Look, your memories out of enemy hands. That, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I mean, you saved I my life. I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. I Save mean, it. I was kidnapped I once. Those Templar bastards put me through. I'm ready, Better to get like skills and equipment and help Thank rather you. than be like, I'm going to risk it alone. You know, what happened last time? Get kidnapped again. Plugged into Animus, but just as brain. Lucy, you made it. That's a lot of computers, too. God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it's it? It's actually Desmond Kilometers. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. Why do we have big windows? Ready, You'd think big Just windows would be no-no. Although I do enjoy gift from the Whoa, look of this place. The memory core. This is amazing. With their data, things are going to go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Merging the code, you say? I'm not sure how that works. Merging the code kind of seems odd. Let's take a look at uh, because there should ah there it is. I guess Templar order things, old people, a city, words that I can't make out. Ah. Doges of Venice 15 C. Hmm. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so ah, you'll the forgive British me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, yeah. though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. What do you want me to do? Risk my life by just going to die? Hello, Desmond. Go away. Hit go away. Huh, that's a fancy-looking internal radiator? I forget what it, like, actually is. I just know that that is thing inside of house. That is a goddamn big TV and sound bar. What is this system? What's down there below? Yep, uh, going first person. I have no idea what those th four boxes are. One of them is probably a future VCR. Freaky hanging. Dilly D. Alert. Access. Zones. Access 03 zone? Oh, hey! That's the... Uh, that's the menu UI in the Animus. 
alert, more alerts. Seems to be like uh, news things. That's interesting. <laughs> I find it funny that the Animus UI is up there. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And that I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. I thought you just... were against me, just an evil secretary. Ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist. What they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Oh, I like Lucy, another. I've been seeing things. Symbols in my bedroom. The code on the keypad. Just like Altair. It's from the bleeding effect. You're taking on more than your ancestors' memories. Their abilities. You're taking on their skills, too. In this case, Eagle Vision. Skills? I love that that's actually placed in universe. So goes well, yeah, that's just a thing you can do. In the animus, you'll learn too. You really think this will work? That I'll become an assassin? You already are an assassin. You'll just be better at it. Yeah, hopefully much better at it. I mean, seriously, I saw the tapes from Abstergo. You didn't even try and escape. What a dick. <laughs> I love that they're kind of like extra. Sorry, Desmond. I've got some stuff to like take more, care of. More character. More and finally talk to Rebecca Crane, if I can. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. The I ultimate take care techie. Of baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find I at mean, Abstergo. The it does let you swim this time. Us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, Anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. It does look more, like, hospitable. Though I do miss the visor. Sorry, can't talk now. Is this my table? Or is that, like... Is that... That might just be the, like, main Animus interface, and this is her like secondary primary so that I don't know so how does this work stabbing time of course deep breath ah I don't even know oh, where it plugged in tiny child Sean well Sean is a hilarious bastard oh what are you a Here tiny child he's not wrong Desmond is a tiny baby man this it does have a better aesthetic Although that doesn't explain how the, uh... Action completed! Whatever you say, aren't you getting rid of this game soon, Ubisoft? Or, like, deprecating... Frickin... I forgot the load-in stuff is frickin' cool. Republica Florentina. 1476. So that's about... Two to three hundred years ish after Altair, because I forget, was it one thousand one hundred or one thousand uh, plane that the? I think it was one thousand ninety one was around the time. One thousand ninety one to one thousand ninety eight was Third Crusade. So yeah, about three hundred years. We stand together, random rich people. The graphics already look so much better. Oh no. The Rock. <laughs> Imagine, now it's like, whenever somebody throws rocks in like a movie, my brain immediately defaults. What if they actually threw the actor the rock? Look at the forehead on the guy on the right. Dear God. Slow mo rock. <laughs> Gotta give him aim. Fight Vera de Paz's men. Oh, uh, the game. The game crashed. Bastard. Well. 
How rude. How rude indeed. The hell? Is this the game going? Hey, bitch. You should have gone and played the PlayStation 4 version. I'll quickly verify the files since it's not a big game, apparently. Just in case. Because, again, the process of getting my Diddly D avatar to work with Assassin's Creed games on PC is I have to load the game and then do other shenanigans once the game loaded. Very odd. Very odd in Blade. Alright. Let's see. Very, very odd. Luckily, we shouldn't have to worry about too much. Hopefully. Hopefully it didn't crash. Go ahead and bring it up again. Black screen, because OB o OBS is weird. Alright. Please don't crash again. Psychopath. I actually... Bit. There we go. Counter time! This game is nice that it... <laughs> that guy just went down. Release me. Come on, my friend. Hey, I, I want to throw this guy over the railings. Or is this guy volunteering? Railings you go. Oh, you like blocking, do you? Block into the sea like a block you are. I punched my friend. This is a Three Stooges comedy. Hey, behind you. Hey, hey. behind you. What are you doing here? I wanted to see if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Ruin, you say? Yes, I know. Ah, countering. So nice. Especially countering with fists, which is something that you didn't have in Assassin's Creed 1. My man! Be gone, your neck. Be gone, your neck! Headbutt. 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 Nice. Stomp on his nuts. Right in front of his friends. This guy just doesn't care. But apparently this guy does. You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go, man? Get away from me! Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I do like that there's kind of a cooldown. You can't just annihilate dudes on the ground 24-7. And then the game is just like, eh, this has been going on long enough. Hold on. What? We've almost won this. You're we could murder them all. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I have no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> You're rich wasted and you have no money. Why not? Huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in the pocket. Petty thievery from the rich people. Loot 300, 200 florins. I have no idea who is friend or foe. All I know is money. One of these guys has got to have like a hundred florins on him to make this go faster. I think one of them is actually dead. Luckily he was one of their guys, so it doesn't matter. That's what you get for rolling with the Patsy. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> I think that's why enough. our allies went down super easily. Because if we threw all the other guys off of the 
<laughs> the railings, we'd have no one to loot. Ezio's older brother and the eldest auditore, Federico entered the Medici Bank as a clerk when he was 19. However, the bank logs and Katie mostly dicked around. Ra oh yeah, this is f Sean. However, the bank logs and Katie mostly dicked around rather than actually working. One entry goes into detail. On September 17, 1475, a bag of gold florins were missing. After panic struck the bank, the elder auditore approached the Fran uh, Francesco... Uh, Sassetti, and with a small reveal of the location of the bag, which had been hidden on the rooftop, if it weren't for the son Giovanni Auditore, I'd speak to Lorenzo de' Medici and have him put in the stocks. Unsurprisingly, Frederico was removed from the bank's payroll shortly after his 20th birthday. That's amusing. I magically got a, uh, an extra 100 florins for that. For, like, finishing the mission. The doctor, the sooner we can sleep. But it's still daylight out. Follow Frederico to the doctor. Doctor! Medic! Memory activator. Your next available memory is always shown on your minimap. How come he got to do that, but not me? Is that the way of the game making sure I was behind my brother? Ah, but... This is just so smooth. Whee! I like the feel of it. The contextualness seems good. Bring me your sick. doctor. Bring me your sick. Indeed. Mm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. What about my fists? Fortiti. <laughs> There we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This way. <laughs> no, f funnily, there's only a scar on my lip. Indeed. But not on my eye where the rock fun. hit me. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? Race to the top? Uh, roof of that church. Sibling rivalry. Win the race against Federico. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre. Dang it. Baby brother still has much to learn. Come on, Calcaruga. And yet I got up here before you. Might not have been the prettiest, but I am the winner. Come on then, this way. Where are you going? Even You'll further see. beyond. I love the music though. Jesper Kide, kid, however you say his name, their name, I don't know, is very good music. And I think they're still doing the music all the way to Valhalla. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. Ah, the foreshadowing. I do like the kind of not clouds flowing through the sky. The fact that this actually gets a title screen is very nice. All right. Enough of that. We really should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. And all of this was supposed to be about uh, going home. Pay a surprise visit to the beautiful Christina Vespucci. Ooh. Oh, synchronize. It didn't let me jump off before synchronizing. Completely forgot, me fool. Are all of the flaps open all of a sudden? <laughs> Interact. It says it wouldn't let me jump for a bit. So it's Vieri. I better hide. Keep looking! He couldn't have gotten far! You ran away. Why are you looking now? Why do you have such a posse with you? Why'd you try to push your boss? 
Are these just scholars? Steal from the rich. I need to go this way. Isn't there a decency law? Probably not. Thank you, person, for being my personal landing pad. Rock. Me. Me. Oh, it's you. I should have known. May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait. Uh, that came out wrong. Need to think of your words. Come here. Before uh. your words come out. Oh, it's you. I forget, do you even exist in the later games? Because while this isn't my first time playing Assassin's Creed 2, oh, it has been a you. long time, and I can't even remember if I beat Brotherhood Revelations, but I think I did. <laughs> he was too far away to do that. Too far away to blow up the candle. And remember, this is all about going home. Tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. You'll kill me yourself? Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! No! There's really no need for violence. <laughs> I wonder how this would legally work in actual... You have Italy. me confused with someone else. Game, go on rope. She needed some help with some things. Ah. I'm mostly innocent. Mostly innocent. Ah, it's the Patsy. Hello. Basta. Basta. Headbutt. <laughs> Doctors are now available. I shall steal from the dead and dying because they work for the Pazzi. So fuck them. Search and investigate. Escape is successful. You are now anonymous. When losing sight of, your go of you, guards will investigate your last known position indicated by a yellow circle on the map. So either leave the yellow circle or be able to be. Out of stock, but he does have treasure map. But all that does is be like, hey, you can, uh... But at the same time, it's so cheap. So come on. Now I can go get even more money. You have not. Can I even go in? I can. And these aren't protected by guards yet. Thanks. Let's read. Rebecca, it looks like the Templars are using the banking network to transport their money. I bet you could snag some ca uh, some of that cash. With the advent of double-entry bookkeeping, which allow bankers to keep track of their clients' deposits and withdrawals, and the proliferation of many different types of Italian currency into the pool of circulation, banks became an essential part of everyday Renaissance life. Banks technically couldn't make money on their money because the Catholic Church forbade the charging of interest. But in practice, this restriction wasn't followed by bankers or even by the Vatican, which participated in the banking system and required banks to pay the Pope gifts in preparation to the amount of money he deposited with them. As long as it isn't called interest, God won't notice, right? That's amusing. I think I'll go ahead and get my money back from these two banks. Basically, yeah. Did I hear that he's selling a fresco? Hello, father. Giovanni Auditore. Banker, advisor, noble. 
Giovanni Auditore was one of the pivotal figures in 15th century Florentine banking. In charge of overseeing the Medici bank branches across Italy, he kept the Medici machine running while Lorenzo was busy with the government. Extending his reach out into the international operation, it was Giovanni who first noticed the problems of the Leon Bank, causing him to alert Francesco Sassiti, which saved the branch. Such great talents was well rewarded by... E Magnifico, Giovanni developed a close relationship with Lorenzo de' Medici, becoming one of the, his closest advisors. Successful negotiations to the, secure the Pope's support of the Medici Bank in 1471 were carried out by Giovanni. Relieved and grateful, Lorenzo paid for Giovanni's palazzo as a gift. Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? You did not come home last night. Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Cristina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... <laughs> Who shakes his hand? It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures... I do like that he calls it unacceptable, but at no, the same time I was like, I, ah, I did the same, so I can't blame you too much. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, father. Return to me when it's done. Paperboy, deliver Giovanni's letter to Florenzo de Medici. I steal from my own bank. Al magnifico Lorenzo de Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done this one's actually as voice. requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond the satisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime to be sure. You can actually read it. I never bothered to when I first played the game. I don't think I'll do it for all, like, diddly D of the game, but, like, uh, well enough. <laughs> Watch out for Ezio's enemies, Da Pazzi. I broke my knees ever so slightly. Wrong thing, I want to know. Huh, you can. I'll have to. I I go to the viewpoint if possible. And I have none, so I should take a small diddly dee to get some medicine from my man. Sheep's urine? What took her? Oh. I have the money. Give me lots of medicine. In a weird needle uh, yes, potion bottle. Money. Money, money, money. <laughs> Gonna steal, they won't they won't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Our taxing export grain, the monster. Just love the music in this game. They can look for me all they want. I'm climbing a building, and I climb very fast. Even faster than Ezio. Well, no, I am Ezio. Faster than uh, Altair, because I am Ezio. Can't be faster than Ezio if you are Ezio. Maybe faster than previous Ezio. Whee. We'll deliver, hit this one, and just like various things around, because why not? <laughs> 73! I'm sure I have just What's he doing? Do? Well, we count. Ooh, that was close. 
I wasn't prepared, but I was that time. I beat up a man. You have a big feather. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. He's out? Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Where is he from? <laughs> Where is he from? That could be our man. Better have a look. Take this to the gut, to your neck. All of just your gut and your face. Uh, these guys, uh, there's a thing in there, and I want it. You find this amusing, perhaps? I can easily have your throat. You are but a pezzo de merda. Oh, you da vero. There, there, get this. Scrub your feculence from my boots, Capito. Take this. Oh, that's just for damage. <laughs> there we go. Your friend's gone. Shame on you, you pieces of shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the back banter a bit more. I see you there. Come on, fight me, guard man. Nuts. Nuts. You must have armored nuts. Shame, shame. And finally, down and out. Oh, he, I can't even loot him. How dare. But I can loot this. Codex page. Neat. Again, it's been a long time since I played this game, so I just know the broad strokes of like, oh yeah, we get like a gun, and uh, oh yeah, like uh, the, some story stuff, ever so slightly. Like Uncle Mario, it's a me. But I really like just going around and exploring in Assassin's Creed 2, much more than Assassin's Creed 1. Mainly because the Another capering crusader. Over <laughs> capering crusader. Ha ha ha. Oh wait. Uh we will be coming to this Yeah. Onfolo di Cambio designed the Palazzo della Signoria, also known as the Palazzo Vecchio, in 1299 for the rulers of Florence, the Signoria. The Signoria was made up of nine members, or priori, selected by the city's guilds, two of each city, and gone flowing blah blah blah. Interesting fact, the tower in front of is off-center because it was incorporated into the palazzo from an earlier structure. It contains two small cells, one of which was used to imprison Cosimo di Medici. Hmm. Because, I mean, we we will come... But you say cloak. I'm not wearing a cloak. But I wonder, should I wait? Because we're going to be coming here not... Terribly far into the future, so there's no real reason to climb it now. Shame on you, you pieces of shit! Shame on you, you pieces of shit! What the hell would Assassin's Creed but by the Muppets look like? It would look very weird, that's what it would look like. Santa Maria del Fiore. And then we also kind of come here later. Yeah, we skip that. I just want my map. We'll go over that way, because why not? I'm dead. Somehow not dead. And then I ate the whole pill bottle. Oop, there's a... And there's a bank. There's a bank. I think I'll just be able to walk on in. Interesting that the, like, codex pages are actually still, like, defended. 
by actual guards, whereas the banks aren't defended until after you get at least the hidden blade. It's very interesting. Also interesting that you're not allowed to run when inside a bank that you're stealing from. What's this? Can I even do anything here? Nope. Come again, should you change your mind. Let the deer go! Ah. That deer, or uh, goat, I guess. Just glued to him. He refuses to let go of the pretty animal. That is presumably dead. I do like the climbing in this game better. It's ever so slightly refined compared to Assassin's Creed 1. Just makes it less janky, unless the thing that you're trying to climb is a bit janky, which, eh, you can kind of shrug at and go, eh, sure. Whee. Yeah, we'll just hit all the roundabout ones, except the ones that we'll be going to anyway. Oh, we can't go that way. So, it might be off-limits. They might try to catch me, but they cannot, because I am Ezio Man. Bizarre. What's with him? Climbing. I forget, is it Brotherhood or Revelations that lets you do the, like quick jump up grab this is like just ever so slightly increases jump uh, like the ability to climb things more interestingly I also do find the it's an Italian architecture very pretty to climb and stuff Just overall, slightly more. Could also help that the Italian architecture isn't as anachronistic as Assassin's Creed 1 was, probably. Because <laughs> again, Akka wasn't like Akka was portrayed as. Overall, overall. And they made the hay look a bit better, primarily by sticking it in wagons a lot more. Still a conspicuous amount of frickin' hay in Italy. But yeah, I'm still disappointed that like Ubisoft is like, oh, we're gonna get rid of the online components of a bunch of games, but like only on the PC version, because like apparently console versions are like uh, held up by the console people themselves and they're not deprecating them or something it's weird especially because the multiplayer of Assassin's Creed was interesting it's all it just didn't help that they kind of I don't know it, they're very old games and never really made all that much attempt to Diddly dee, but yeah, now we'll just head on. I promise you. Probably should have gone over the building. Come, come, don't be shy. I will be very shy. I should beat that man up for what he did. I already stole from them. Keep up the good work. Biscero. <laughs> you. Hello. Ah. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uberto? Good morning, Gontalonieri Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Couldn't. He's si, not padre. here. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Did mm. deliver it, but I did not he did not receive this. it. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, 
See if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. You too, if only you weren't a villain. Because, let's see. We'll go ahead and do yours so I can smack and hey, climb Claudia. building. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? He's an asshole. I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. You no, thought Claudia. you did. You only thought you I'll did. go make he sure that he can't. for what he's done. Wait here. I do love that she immediately to goes to. I loved him, but now he has to pay. Find and punish Duccio, Claudia Adatore. Third child, Giovanni Maria, and the first girl in the family, Claudia, seems to have been a bit of a spoiled brat. It looks like her parents had to raise her dowry by a thousand florins after she scared away all potential shooters. A report from her school indicates she once attacked another girl for looking at her boyfriend and knocked her out cold. On the plus side, she's actually your sister, so you should be safe. <laughs> I love the bit of personality that courier assignments are now available. Interesting. But I do find it amusing, the little bit of Sean through, that, that inks through, is amusing. Use the map. Hey, wasn't that actually one of the maps we saw on Diddly D's? Uh, pop, pop, pop. You don't know Kung Fu, do you? But I do. I invented it. Hmm, I don't think I can climb this. I'll need to climb the bigger building. Probably. Or... Nope, I need to climb the bigger building. It would take Altair years to climb this building. And I thought this was the tower that was, like, nearer the guy. Hmm. But it doesn't look like we'll be able to climb it from this side. We'll actually have to properly climb that in. Climb, climb. Utter pain. <laughs> Maybe this was precisely why they designed it like this. We don't want anyone climbing it. So make it so it's impossible to climb from the ground level. So, ah, that works. Interesting that they kind of have the roof, but a railing. That's kind of a walkway. Interesting design. You cannot stop me, for I am the climbing man. There's a treasure chest in there. Now I have to find another conspicuous access. Ah, the little out, little outcropping of decoration has led to the infiltration of the tower. And of course, I'll, since the climbing shouldn't be as terrible. I shall come grab you too. Through the power of greed, Ezio can teleport. That's just how it is. It's like uh, uh, Uncle Scrooge logic. Shimmy, shimmy. Don't know why they're keeping money stuffs in an unfinished tower. Uh, there. I was wondering if I would have to do a funky move. Apparently not. Kind of interesting that a lot is unfinished, and yet they still went all the way up. Oh. I missed those. 
and holds. Oh, there's a statue over there. Neat. You can see the skybox from here. Whee! Ooh. And these guys are still here. Nobody came to help them. Good. Duccio! It's beautiful! Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Virgate. And now you shall die. Come, let us walk a bit. Walk? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Ah, oh, Duccio! Ah, oh, Duccio! Hey! Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend! Friends, ah, this! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister. Parading around with his puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. Uh, not the smartest thing in the world. all me. But when it comes time for action, ha! You say that as I'm beating your face in. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Basta! Mi arrendo! Stay away from my sister! Shame on you! And now he's just stuck here. And I'll take your money too. Beat up episodes are now available. <laughs> it's so important it has to tell me twice. Beat up events are now available. Just gotta steal from everybody. Because why people just leave boxes of money on uh, balconies and these kind of I don't know. Uh, uh, third floor gardens? Make no sense to me. Oh no! I left my quality jewelry out to dry! And someone stole it! Ah! Hey, Ezio! One second, I need to help Mother. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, Madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? Lol. I have no idea what you're talking about. I like the of facial expressions not. in this game anyway, as well. I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Help Maria with her errand. Maria Attore. I grow tired of these walls that surround me, and I am bored with safety. Now is the time to make a decision. I will go out there and see what my life may truly be. Maria wrote those words when she was 16, a week before she met Giovanni Auditore. Born into a powerful banking family, the Marzi, Maria is one of the most famous historical sources of the time period due to a multi-volume diary, which has been translated by several notable scholars and is on display in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. With funding from her parents, Maria opened up a bakery in the courtyard of a family palazzo, which she transformed into an artistic gathering place. It was there that she met a man with such conviction I found myself rooted to the spot unable to look anywhere else. That man was Giovanni Auditore. Maria and Giovanni were married in 1450. Maria's diary entries continue from the next few decades, describing a patronage of several up-and-coming artists and her trials as a mother, at which, she points, <laughs> uh, which point she abruptly abandons her writing to the disappointment of historians everywhere. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? It was a massacre, really. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is Accusation many Accusation nothing. None of them good. 
But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What happened to you? I like the electric guitar just Before below the twangy, to, uh, like, normal He's acoustic guitar. Still, I wish there was another way. You have nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. Yeah. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Oh, pass it will. Pass it will. Uh, along with a bunch of other things passing as well. Very convenient that Leonardo da Vinci lives like a block away from the Auditore Plazzo. Here we are. I steal from a monk. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. Also, a fun this fact that I learned, Ezio. apparently the, the guy who voices Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci is the same as the sarcastic the potter I'll be right uh, Rafik in Assassin's Creed 1. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. <laughs> Just blunt as then. blunt, I guess. See, si, see. Si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? AKA, do all the carrying. So, Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Oh, they follow ah. me. You're to be a banker. For now. And you, aren't, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, and, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo, Very nice. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. <laughs> grazie, Madonna. That's kind of you. I do like that they made Leonardo da Vinci a character in these games. Just, it's funny. Can't have historical, like, shena Thank fiction shenanigans without son. Leonardo da Vinci. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anchio. <laughs> and then they're gone. Before we help Ezio. our brother, we'll do these little side missions that we can do. Get this to its destination fast. Really fast. I'll pay you well. Someone put on the pizza music from Spider-Man 2. Oh, from Raphael 1. My dearest, how can I live without you? I cannot work. I simply idle away, dreaming of your face. The fact that your father has locked you away behind cold walls sickens me. You are a budding young woman. You should have your privilege to feel my sweet kisses like a gentle wind caressing your soft petals. Yet finally, it is Friday when he goes off to market. Oh, happy day and still happier night. Come when the sky rains with sparkling stars. Come find me and jump into my arms. At dusk, I will be waiting at a special spot yours, truly, Raphael. I'm going to assume that he is uh, double dipping. Because we have to go to two places. Oh, grazie. <laughs> and there are indeed guards there. The messenger came from the rooftop. Imagine if, like, you lived in a big city and your mailman got there by climbing roofs. Ah, this works. That man is my landing pad. Pretend it's accidental all you want, little man. It won't unstomp your face. <laughs> ah, the sarcasm. Oh, 
Off the roof of you! My dude. Get up so I can throw you off. Who knew that Ezio's first murders were because of a uh, rooftop delivery service? That's not what I wanted. I just wanted to shove people. And I guess technically that was a shove. Money. And now we'll go beat up a guy. Because why not? We exist to do things. One second, brother. I have a man to beat up. That faithless husband of mine is cheating. I know it. As do all the neighbors. Please leave him a lesson for me. How would you know the neighbors know? Is it because they just come out and say, Ha ha ha, your husband is unfaithful? I could see them being weird about it. And now they're all they look for me. Fruitlessly, I come in to beat up a man. I Surprise! You are being beaten up by a random man whom you do not know. Donato, if she wins, <laughs> I give up! That bitch! <laughs> I mean, wonderful wife of mine! Ah, <laughs> let go home! Ah, <laughs> let go home! I take your money too. Hilarious that he's like, <laughs> ah, a jerk like him. Silly, silly jerks. Getting what they just deserts. I do love the, the drop mechanic in this game. Now that it actually has more use and functions quicker. <laughs> Thievery. <laughs> Goodbye to your books. Respect for your That's the quickest way down, and I love it. Ezio. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. It's if a I secret. Get them for you, it's a secret tool inside. that'll help us later. Yes, I promise. Petruccio's secret. Obtain eagle feathers for Petruccio before he gets in trouble for sneaking out of bed. I don't think I ever finished this uh, side quest. Well, let's we'll read his database entry. The youngest of the Auditore children, Petruccio was described as having a weak constitution by Giovanni Auditore in a le letter to Lorenzo de' Medici soon after the boy's birth. Apparently, he didn't improve with time. Petruccio was pulled from school due to illness when he was 12, and according to records from the family doctor, was confined to bed. No other data exists other than that, so it is probable that he eventually succumbed to his illness. <laughs> oh no, it's much worse. Much worse. And see, I'm more lenient on the feather collectibles because... Unlike the flags, they have, like, some purpose in-universe. Like, literally. They're not just, ooh, random flag. Why collect them? Because they are a collectible. In this one, it has some personal connection to Ezio. Ezio. That isn't just, haha, uh -huh, screw you, five billion thing. Crash mat. Get out of my home. Go home or die.
Here, as <laughs> promised. Some nice feathers Grazie, for you. Brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Petruccio's secret synced. Ah, the knock knock. Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. How do you know it's there? Bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? I just killed some people. I'm, I'm the most sustained out of trouble person in the world. Giovanni too. Has sealed this letter. It would be wrong to open it. Ha! Number three. Has sealed. Would be wrong. Ha! Ah, that amuses me. How this cannot be collected throughout the world. How dare you! Get in my way, will you? Get in my way! Are they guarding something? So nope, they're just standing there. Like cowards. I'm going to the one this is where. Palazzo. Oh, wait, we already read this. Yeah. We already read that. Interesting that it comes up multiple times. We will climb the creepy building. I think we've clumbed this building before. Nothing ever changes. Pigeon coop. Oh yeah, you see the... I don't know if the... Ah, oh, that one, yeah. You saw the guards running in the distance. Implying that things are bad. A small tax. <laughs> Hello there. I have a delivery from Giovanni Alatore. Yes. Yes. Were you followed? Uh, no. no. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Here is the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait, come back! Explain yourself! He doesn't have to explain anything. He is a weird little man. Guess I'll use the ladder like a plebeian. Naruto run on the ropes. The ultimate way to travel. I just love the smooth free running of this game compared to the first one. So long as it doesn't torture me and lead me in the wrong direction like Assassin's Creed 1 did at times, then we'll get along just fine. You Giovanni's kid? Indeed. No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Here's your package. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. Quite the characters. Special delivery synced. Within the genetic memoria. Sure, I'll just go above and beyond. Chests contain money. I know, I've been taking lots of it. He's carrying spinach. He's a demon. Knock, knock. Destruction. Father? Federico. Whoop. My face. <gasps> Serezio. Thank God. What happened? Where is everyone? 
They took your father and brothers. They to took the everyone to away. To prison. And my to mother, prison. My sister. Ezio. Claudia. At least you're alive. Are you all right? Yes, but mother. Traumatized. She's in shock. They. When she resisted. The implications are very, very it's bad. Not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. Well, they won't be able to find me because I'm the protagonist. Reach Giovanni's cell at the top of the Palazzo della Signoria and find out why he has been imprisoned. Protagonist reasons, probably. Being notorious means guards are suspicious of you and react to your actions and presence. Like the palazzo. Not palazzo. The, uh, the patsy. Like the patsy have been doing this entire game. Now, don't be shy. I only aim to heal. Your books go boom. Wow, well, he almost did. If you alternate running and not running, they won't be suspicious because they are dumb. I say and now we can finally get the final synchronization point, at least for the restricted zone. And now I think we have to worry about uh, rooftop <sighs> bandit guards for the first time. Ah, we didn't even need to reach out. Itzio is a good jumper. Oh, there's a feather. I want that feather. You're gonna go off the roof, or I could just beat you up here. Why not just beat you up here? Punch. 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 Stay down. Can't even loot you, because you're pathetic. You must be the worst random encounter MMORPG mob in the world. You don't even have any drops. There are less feathers than there are flags in Assassin's Creed 1. Jesus Christ. I want it stop. Ora! On the ground with you. I'm already wanted, so I might as well. I'm not supposed to be like you. Not be off so easy. Ah, uh, you don't e you barely have bow and arrow. Down you go. I'm here to talk to my father. And I need you all out of the picture just to make sure that I can do that properly. Hilarious that we can't just go in the tower. No, we have to climb the tower. Be hilarious if his father's just like, Ezio, what the fuck are you doing climbing the outside of the tower? Ezio. Father, what's happened? Took a bit We've of been a betrayed. Beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. I well. meant took them. Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain. There's Explain. No Explain. Closely. Why is your hand Return greasy? In my it looks like leather. A hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond the, your lies talent. the chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. I think so. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. I wonder what that please, is. Gonfalonieri. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the pigeon. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. But I didn't get to synchronize. Yeah. 
eagles indicate presence of a viewpoint. But is it one that I will agree with? Very harsh of them. What is there a guard up here too? He's getting flung, if he is. Hmm, a bell. A trap door. And a synchronization. And that's why I decided to wait, because this is a taller building. We were gonna come here anyway. Sure, we had to reclimb the building a little bit, but not as bad as it could have been. And what the hell is that symbol? Race. Hmm. Not in the mood for a race. Especially not when everyone I love is being murdered. Money. Money. Please do not use dyes or cure in municipal water source. <laughs> Please do not contaminate the water, they're basically saying. Say goodbye to your books. It turns out that a lot of historical documents were destroyed by Ezio just by running around Italy, knocking people's books out of their hands. Family heirloom. Recover Giovanni's documents and deliver them hmm. to the man. I said there was a door here. Door. Secret room. Secret chest. And Ezio's family plays. Which eventually would go on to become the basically the series theme. At least that's a part of Ezio's. Yep. <laughs> it just immediately puts on the the outfit. He's like, I'm gonna have to be cool. And now I have a sword. Ah, another one. Father has sealed it. It would be wrong of me. At the same time, it would probably be a good idea to read it because of all the things that are going on. on. Hey, what's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. N no. Well, what do you want, then? they're blunt. For you to die. Well, that's not going to happen. So why don't we explore Goodbye. other options? There are no other options. And so, your life is over. Ah, uh, sword. Yes, betrayal. That is what ails me today. They knew I was be here somehow. Did, for a moment, I thought they killed an, a man there to get to me. Ah, uh, <laughs> there's a little bit of reused animation, but considering everything, I don't mind it too much. It looks smoother in this game, probably because it doesn't lock you in to... The, it locks the camera. It doesn't lock the camera as well. It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? I thought you were murdered. It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. Uh, I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything. Don't ask about the man in the How? shadows. The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more Dear than God, welcome. if he stayed there, he would have been murdered oh, in his sleep. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. It most definitely will not be fine.
That is not how things will go. I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my smithy. They're with me, Amici. The, pia the Pazzi are still looking for me. No. There! On him! You're really gonna try. That guy looks like he's looking for a help. He's looking for a helping hand. He's shocked. Assassino! Assassino! I'm not an assassin yet. Granted, I did kill a guy, but he was going to murder me with his fists and fingers. And that's the worst thing. And now, for the pain and the suffering. Last man standing. Attend the acquittal of Petrito, Giovanni, and Federico. Oh, it's not an acquittal. It is not an acquittal. That's why they're at a noose. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices like this stand accused sick of the crime 12 year old. Of Have you any evidence to Again, the, the sick 12 year old, why are you killing him? That were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! I need to get closer. In the absence of any also, their trial went really the quick. Contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. To you death. are the Roberto and one of them. You may take one our of lives them. this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will. Again, Father! they killed a 12-year-old boy. He's one of them. I'll kill you for what you've done. Guards, arrest him. Too bad I don't get to enjoy my sword for long. How about that? Better run, boy. And fast. Oh, but I will. Be hilarious, hilarious if the Potsy joined in on the race. There he is, beat him up. But the guards are after him. Beat up the guard too. Into the petals. They kind of look like Sakura petals. Did the, did the guards kill themselves? It almost looked like they did. But now we're desyncing. Because we finished the memory. Out of the way! I want to see the dead bodies. Punch! Also, they removed the jump button. You can't just hold high alert or no, high action and press the run button to jump anymore. It's just not available. It does not exist. Republica Florentina, 1476. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. So she knows they where they are. But, but it's not on my map. I feel cheated. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. I lost Please, my sword. Come with me. We need to get you off the streets. I can't. What if my mother and sister? They're safe. I'll I don't want to put them. them at risk. No, it's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house, just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. 
Annetta. The Altatori families live in Servant. Annetta had been one of the few respectable jobs allowed lower class Renaissance women. Rich families seldom have more than one or two servants. Most were young, sometimes children. Many hoped their masters would help raise their standing, but usually turnover was rapid. Ultimately, very little is known about Annetta's life. She passed on without making a mark on history. I'm fresh caught leeches so today. Fresh caught mm, lotches. A pleasure doing business. So, general icon, you say. Oh, and we can actually uh, go to the other thing. Yay. <laughs> Fast travel station. Interesting. We'll have to look for the eye icons. I am notorious because they're evil. Hide away. Hide away. Oh, wait. I'm stealing all of you. I'm stealing all your wallets. The great pickpocketing of Florence. The city guard is recruiting volunteers for the road patrols in city reserves. Why serve with mercenary condottieri when you could uphold the honor of the Republic? The Republic. And now the Potsy are no longer after me, but now it's the guard that are after me. I've gone up in the world. Gone up in the world, I deed. Oh, I'm going down. I'm going down. I did. I'm gonna have to go back up because I'm not meant to be here either. But he's probably very annoyed because I came back up. Oh, I can hire these guys. I don't. I forget what they do though, so I have no reason to hire them. And I probably shouldn't travel by ground too much because guards. Even if I do come across a oh, I can diddly d money uh, from a bank, they'll st still get in my way. Ah, right here. Now where do you end? Now I climb this tower to get more information. Praise the information. I do find it funny that Giovanni just had this suit. There. But there is the glowy eye, so at least it is quite obvious. Probably be best to just do this and climb the building itself. The latest manga. Yes, 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 I know, I know, but I want to get the eye. Do you think somebody who, who's climbing this could be drunk? There's one of the symbols. What is Omega. It, it must be there for a... Wait, wait, that's, that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Is it? Let me compile it. Oh, shit, it's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. Can't, it's part of the memory. Yeah, I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. Upload it to Desmond then. <laughs> Upload it to Desmond then. Which, you know, that, that's an Hello. odd thing. This is. Uh, they, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, <laughs> it's wrong. Everything is wrong. Okay. Um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all. How did you even upload the file when you're subject 16? And lock each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. 
Qu Queen Isabella. No. <laughs> uh, 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 hey, this guy is just like me. Uh, it's me. Never mind. For real, for real. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along How do you the even way, record this? Do they give you a microphone while you were in Epstergo? What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? The memory core. Oh, oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the Animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. How? Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. In the beginning. Unlock the file. Five of these mythic scenes share a core similarity. Apple. 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 Oh, I can zoom. Apple. Apple. No duh. <laughs> Passcode found two four five six eight. Oh no, the running naked people. And we'll have to look out for those. Nick knock. <laughs> I just let myself in. They live in a brothel. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. Guess it makes sense, cuz... It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Eretz. Giovanni must have had Aneta connections. speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. I have Perhaps vengeance to plan. No, I must be I on my stay. way. Why? Where are you going? Vengeance. To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Not Spare yet. Me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. And by surviving, Come. you can kill more people. Fitting in, learn the ways of the courtesans. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two You're pretty... must learn to blend like us. What's the word? And become one with... Uh, conspicuous. Uh, these girls are definitely available for hire. We can use them as moving cover. In fact, try sending them to tempt unwanted guards. Prostitution was one of the most popular occupations for Renaissance women, whose only other options in most cases were staying with their families or living in a covenant. Italian society supported prostitution and many brothels were regulated by the government. At the end of the 15th century, cities started to pass laws against prostitution, forcing courtesans to wear specific outfits and separating them from respected society. Cities crowds. My girls will show you how. I don't blend in in this. You can practice with me anytime. Lol. Paola. There isn't much information about Paola in the history books, but the Florentine archives reveal that she was orphaned at age eight when her parents were killed at sea. Left with a choice between joining a nunnery and prostitution, she began a life on the streets. At 16, she vanishes from the records, only to reappear at age 20 when she was arrested for murdering a city guard. On an interesting note, Giovanni Auditori represented her in court, winning the case on a self-defense plea. Released from prison, Paola went on to start her own brothel to protect many other unfortunate women on the street. I shall avoid being, uh, what is it, dis divisive. 
But let's just say that is a far more progressive, uh, what with uh, murdering a man as a disenfranchised woman in self-defense, is apparently something that could only happen in the past nowadays. Ain't the world grand. I wish the blending would work. I think in future games they kind of automate the blending back to being the scholar mechanic a bit more. I do like this mechanic though, where groups of walking people act as walking blending, which again is kind of a continuation of the, oh, you saved people, now you can use them. But in this case, it's just, oh, random people, because there's lots of people walking about. And in this case, a lot of people are in fancy clothes, so you could just blend in with random people. I like it. It's an elevation, continuation of the gameplay. Although I do find it funny that powers like training is, hey, we're going to put your life at risk so that you can survive. Don't know why all these people are going down an alleyway. When the, a less creepy choice is available to them, but whatever. And there are no guards, so I feel safe doing this. I got in before you. I win the race. Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. I already know how to do that. Thief! Thief! Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Steal from everyone. Steal all their wallets. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach Hilarious. the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. I have a broken one. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> the same skills. <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> the painter? See, but how does a painter factor into this? Because he's an inventor. He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? Ouch. I too know betrayal. Due to the kind of muddled graphics of that, it's like, what is that, a burn? Like some other kind of scarring? Visit Leonardo da Vinci at his workshop to see if he can repair Giovanni's blade. Also, fun fact, Leonardo da Vinci is literally translated as Leonardo from Vinci. He only has one name, Leonardo. Da Whenever somebody says da Vinci, they are being dumb. They're saying from Vinci, which, yes, is colloquially known to mean Leonardo da Vinci because there aren't that many other famous people from Vinci who are referred to as da Vinci, but linguistically, it is very stupid. Very stupid. And it's always hilarious when people are like, I'm going to use da Vinci to seem smart. And then they are unfathomably stupid. It's been years, so I forget the specifics, but I just remember a reactor who used Da Vinci in his internet handle. And I think in a reaction, he said some dumb stuff when it was just like, and my, like, 
uh, malicious little schadenfreude brain is like, well, what do you expect from a guy who uses Da Vinci not knowing what it means is just from Vinci? I shall go and get the treasure chest, if at all possible. Might have to throw a guard from the roof, but I will. That's not what I wanted. You see nothing. Ezio, that's not what I want. Get Ezio! Ezio, please! Hey, 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 I get it. There's like lots of contextuals going on there, but still. Be gone, scholar. I must knock on a door. It is me who knocks. Oh, Ezio Auditore. I, I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. <laughs> he is such now, a touchy-feely guy. Service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come this way. I love it. Ah, Leonardo da Vinci in this game. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. But I won't be I able to do it, much. You. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Profound this sadness. Viaggio. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third. And then a quick there. time skip. It's finished. He's there. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Law. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, it's so. <laughs> Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Hilarious. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me. Do you have other pages like this? Thank you. I'm sorry, only the one. But Ezio does Listen, not recognize if you that. ever do happen across another one of these, please bring it to me. You have my word, and thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard, open this door. Open and this just door. A moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. Oh, well, that's a lot of degree of movement for the camera that I wasn't expecting. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When <laughs> was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? What Hilarious and terrible at the same time. Uno momente. Need to fix a thing. Because technology. That is the way. This is the way. If only it was. No, things don't get to work just in work work. Things have to suffer and be bad. But now we can move on in. 
and stab a man. And now I can spin in circles. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. I had to murder a man. Uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. The others? Others? The city gives them to me for research. So the guard harass you, but the city itself, like, just says, hey, go ahead. Also, I'm very happy because uh, earlier, when doing testing, and I think, like, uh, the last time I played this game, I encountered a glitch where the camera would spaz out, and while technically still playable, was very much a not recommended way to play the game. And I have no idea what causes it, and I'm just happy that it hasn't See, happened like it again. Thank Hopefully you it will never happen again, but you never know. Everything. The game did crash Anytime. randomly. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile miei omaggi. I wonder if I'll be able to just immediately about face and be like, hey, I, I, I have a codex page. But now, I have the hidden blade. So if I wanted to do things, I can. Assassination skill acquired. So now, because the game was upgraded from Assassin's Creed 1, you can indeed... Uh, Ezio decided to do a little dance! Good for you, Ezio. You do a little dance. But the game was upgraded from Assassin's Creed 1 so that you can actually fight with just the hidden blade. And it does feel like the uh, countering is a bit more lenient than in Assassin's Creed 1. Comparatively. Just a little bit of polish. Are you telling me something, game? Are you taunting me? And besides, we went the right way. Because this allows us access. I wonder what these are. Some kind of rain... Get rid of hers. Brain drains. At least if they're so long as they're not brain drains, everything shall be fine. Hmm. We shall steal because we are here, and I think there is a feather up there that we're also gonna take. I doubt I'll get like all the feathers unless I specifically grind it for them. Who knows, maybe I'll do that this time playing through, since they're just a hundred, not... Like, they're a hundred, and they have, like, actual purpose in the game beyond just collectible. They're not just a dumb collectible. That's not to say that they're, like, perfect. They are a, like, startlingly the large amount collectible in an <laughs> Ubisoft game, but they're not... Obscene. Wish there was like a quick jump off point. I don't see any. Oh, Nep, here we are. Wee! Wee! Also, nice is that I don't think there are beggars and crazies in this game, so wins all around. You see nothing. Go home. We'll go ahead and raid this bank while heading back to Paola, I do believe. Do I have air assassination? I don't think I have air assassination yet. That's something that I need to actually, like, learn. <laughs> what do you have? You, yes, it is me. Come on. Oh, 
Yes, I did. <laughs> Death. And now I can raid banks all the way. Get lots of money. Lots of money. I don't even know how much a florin is. Now we just need to make our way around and head to the main place. We shall steal. We shall run. Steal ball run. We don't have the prey option, probably because the ability to just be like, ooh, I'm a monk isn't really all that important. <laughs> Die. I know, I must be anonymous. And apparently I did so well, they decided to run away. Good for them. I continue to steal. I'm the real new vagabond. Fear me. The guard. It's dead on the ground. That's where the guard is. He's got a sharp tailor. <laughs> it is kind of convenient that when I decided to wear the assassin's garb was also like the first time that I actually was seen and wanted for crime. Crime I did not commit just yet, but crime all the same. Oh, the eye icon. Oh, that's what it means. Okay, thank you for the pop-up. All right. One of the strange glyphs Sean mentioned is at this landmark. You should go find it. Opened in 1465, La Rosa Colta, the plucked rose, quickly became essential in Florentine life. The women there were known for being upper class. They were educated in poetry and the arts as well as sexual intercourse. It was not rare to see members of the Signoriat La Rosa Colta and even on occasion, a Medici. You are you positively are glowing, but it's probably just the lighting falling that in a weird does, way. But I trust he did more than talk. Knife. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is, is the, the deed. deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. Who's Verrocchio? It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Thank you, Paola. Judge, jury, executioner. Visit the art show at Santa Croce, find Urboto, and find revenge. Revenge will be mine. They won't even know what he deem. Except a blade, because they see the knife wound. So they'll know what he deem. Slightly. But only slightly. Overall, they won't know exactly what kind of knife hit them. Mostly. We'll find out beyond the building. Call you a donut? Is that what you asked for? Well, if that's your fault. Well, we're gonna go do that. Yeah. Doesn't mean we have to shimmy sham around a little bit, but I want that. <coughs> says you. I think you'll find that I am quite allowed anywhere that I want to go. Because I am me. What the devil are you doing over here? Get down now. Get down now. It's you. Uh, 
Forgot. Eccolo, there, there. Wall. And now that you're on the ground, you're also stabbed in the dick, apparently. The past. A vast web of connections and interconnections, all ruled by chance. Or is it? Or is it what? 64 squares unlock the tile. It better not actually be 64 squares. Uh, kind of like that. Oh. No. Yeah, this seems to be correct. The orb. Piece of Eden too. Apple. There we go. I do like that they're using classical art for all these little puzzles. <laughs> also kind of funny that those were just like side by side. We must realign the head. Three apples. So many apples. All right. Now that the unfortunate murder has been committed. It's not my fault. They were guarding a a glyph thingy, and I want to do the glyph thingy. I'll have to be a man of me, assassiny. Here I come. I have five thousand florins. Nice. Again with this, you have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least You're such now, an asshole, we see Roberto. how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Now we need to get on down. Hire some courtesans, which I believe are around the corner even. Just need to find the courtesans. And these guys are as good as dead. Then we can get in and murder Urbuto. Bring me your sick and wounded. What are you, the Statue of Liberty? I do like that there's actually a bit of a wider angle, so if you wanted to, you can kind of get a bit. Yep, and there's the courtesans that I require. Courtesans, to me. <laughs> Looking for a good time? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Mm. My laces are too unwind. Yes. Yes. Could you help me? Good evening, Gonfaloniere. To you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourself. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditore. And to think I won't. You! Me. No, uh. Oh, no, there is a confession. Just a very violent initial murder. And then confession! You would have Yay, violent murder! 
To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. Just no feather for you. The Auditori are not dead. I'm still here. Me, Ezio, Ezio Auditori. And vengeance shall be mine. Oh, do I get to read it? This document is meant to serve as a record of all I've learned over the past few weeks. In the event that I'm silenced and prevented from sharing it with you myself, understand first that the Duke of Milan's murder was no mere political maneuver. Rather, it is but a piece of conspiracy that reaches far beyond Firenze. Counting members in Roma, Venezia, and Forli, to name but a few cities. Attached to this note is a list, or rather a start of one, of those to n I know to be guilty. Its contents are by no means complete, but I intend to rectify that shortly. I can, however, say that certainly that the Pazzi family was involved. We must move quickly to, to question the Francesco before he buys his life freedom from prison. For some reason, I thought I saw life there. <laughs> Probably because the list is t to the kind of right. Doing so will surely add more names to the list. I already have many suspicions as to who these men are. Given that their deeds are bo bear the hallmarks of an old enemy, I fear they. The note abruptly ends here. Giovanni must have had to stop and hide when the guards showed up to arrest him. Oh, <laughs> They didn't hear the call of assassin, assassin. Assassin, sassafrassin. Huh, that works. And now I need, lately. Now I need to head back so I can get that sweet, sweet, uh, diddly dee. Uh, aerial tower synchronization. Only I knew it was right here. I would have gone for it. Oh, come on. You could have reached for it. Reached for the handheld. Reached for the Nintendo Switch. Speaking of that, I recently came across more of those little comics that are like, what if the game consoles were, like, personified by, like, literally, they had human bodies that... They have these amusing little comics. I shall stare at the wall. The wall allows me to stare. And then I'll go ahead and also head that way to grab that one. And kind of clear off that area of Florence. Who puts hay on top of a building? It's not even done up like a, an actual roof. <laughs> Aren't you a funny monkey? That's very offensive to call me a monkey. Can't you tell that I'm Florentine? Hmm, but one thing that I want to take a look at is... Database. Locations. So yeah, you can actually see, like, which buildings are related to the Diddly D, so that's nice to know. So you can basically go city to city, make sure that you have, like, all the buildings cool. noticed. <laughs> Lol. Hey, I countered that. Come on. Once again, that should be... Swing with your whole arm. Not like that. Your whole arm. There we go. And now, his whole arm is dead. And now I can take their money. All their money. Guard! Guard! I need to read Terry Pratchett books, of which Guard Guards is one of them. I can buy... I can get a large medicine pouch for just a few more money. I can dye my clothes if I wanted to. Eh, but none of them really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get more money. That one is very familiar. Don't know how that happened. They like saw me, recognized me, drew their swords, and then were like, "Eh, you know what? We're gonna let him go." And then I stabbed their friend. Hilarious! 
Yeah, I'm gonna buy a large medicine pouch. It's just something nice to have that you can spam if combat isn't going your way. Just a nice little stand back thingy. Doesn't mean you have to spend more money on medicine, but hey. If only by sheer volume. Whee! That's leg game. Don't skip leg day or leg game. <laughs> There we go, Ezio. That's how you climb into a knot garden. Yes, that's a precisely enough. Crash mat. Lol. You gonna fight me? Wall. <laughs> He did a swan dive! By God, he's broken in here! I'm gonna dance away. And now you're dead. Hilarious. I have come to buy a large pouch. A pleasure. Come again. Now I am poor. But I I can rectify that. I'll hurt you even more. Can I buy anything? I can buy armor, but uh, I need 2,000 hey, florins. I didn't see. <laughs> I still think that the uh, medicine pouch was the better because it was more expensive. I'll just take some more money along the way. It's not what I wanted, but oh well. Medicine. Please don't. I'm sorry. I'll hurt you all. I'll hurt you all. Healing services for all the God's flock. Does that mean that you can reject people if you feel like they're not part of God's flock? That seems like a asshole thing to do. I don't think I trust you as a doctor. There he is, up on my watch. He's losing a faster regards. Ah, you won't release me. Fine, released. Is that a trap door that leads up to here? Who would leave their money like this? Fool. And the best of all, they probably just assume that guy accidentally fell to his death, coked out on drugs. Who would ever believe he was thrown? He probably just <laughs> fell. I arrive. The murder is done. I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will Get you out. Go? Do things. My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. Yes. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down oh yeah, the I forgot that's a thing things. you can do. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. So this is just teaching do you how to get rid of your notoriety. You to leave. Laying low. Reduce your notoriety by removing posters, bribing a Herald, or killing a corrupt official. Ah, there's the corrupt official. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. I would if I were you. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not.
Oh, I like that you can actually disappear into just a group of people. Like an actual assassin. Just turn a corner, blend in with the crowd. Friggin' awesome. And also hilarious that the official just decided, and another official is coming down the road. Boy, howdy, he is next. I don't want to end like this! Die. Whatever this is about, leave me out of it, please! Hilarious that murder means less notoriety. But hey. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? I killed two guys. Madre? Although killing people would be the fastest way of getting your notoriety. Out because if the officials are like, oh, he's killing a whole bunch of officials going against him. I better shut up. Dead. 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 Something's happened. What do you mean? Dead. Lots of dead. It's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. And don't worry, revenge Listen, will be ours. Right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? I need you to look after mother. Good. Will you watch over mother for me? I will secure a safe passage. We will leave and I shall murder. Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. I the road ahead is yet long. Considering that he has three games to his name, it is indeed. Indeed very long. Let's go. And now the guards don't give a shit. I wonder why they're walking off that area, but best not to get into a fight. Oh, right. Have some money. Like, your loot was probably more expensive than 10 florins. But sure. You have no business here. Here comes the Giovanni Signore, whose prowess is a supreme. Fine, fine, fine. Here, have money. I hear money. I hear money. Hilarious that we can pay bards in this game, but not the poor people in Assassin's Creed 1. And there are just so many guards. So many guards. I forgot I didn't actually go out and uh, do all of them. Uh, I'll have to do that when I come back to Florence, I guess. Oh, well. Because I don't want to leave my family on the ground. A dual performance? Let's hear it. Triple performance? Dear God, just imagine if this was real. Imagine if a trio of completely different musical talents were just screaming their music at you. What <laughs> Have some money. Oh yes, money, money, money. Oh yes, money, gold. Oh yes. You need to relax, man. Jesus Christ. Wait. Oh. Segue me. <laughs> I treat my family like courtesans. Good to know. 
How could this have happened to us? I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to follow us outside the city this much, courtesans. It feels like against the rules. Will we ever be back? I don't know. Son, <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. All right, this way. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? I don't know. Yes. Oh. They were. I didn't know that. Arrivederci. And that's memory block two done. Or sequence two. Are we going to be pulled out of the Animus, or do we continue? The real question. Ah, we continue. More memories. This feels like it's going on longer than, like, most memory blocks in Assassin's Creed 1. Toscana, 1476. Ah, uh, the villa, which is basically a mini castle. Or I guess compound. It more like it has like castle trimmings with a mansion in the middle. We should be close. Maria. Oh, we already know you. To Florence. To Tuscany. Escort Maria and Claudia to Villa Aditore in Montregioni. Seguimi. And to think we've been running this entire way. Pazzi. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! I what killed lots of officials. Want, I shouldn't so be wanted anymore. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. Your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> what will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother. How dare you? I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. Luckily, arrows. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Yeah, Kill them. Sword. Kill them all. Kill them all. And meanwhile, he runs. Stabity stab for you. Leave the mother alone. Thank you, mercenaries. Stab. Honestly, I'm surprised he hasn't run away. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? It's a me, Mario. It's a me, Mario. Hilarious. Uncle Mario, it's been too long, Nipote. Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come. Just imagine if Let's he actually was Mario. Him. Had a history of jumping on turtles, saving princesses from turtles. Montregioni. Built in the 13th century by overlords of Siena, Montregioni Gioni was actively involved in the defense of Tuscany against Florentine attempts to gain more territory. At the front of this conflict was the Auditori family, who became the city's rulers and protectors. It was the Auditori who, who constructed Montegoni's Gioni's 
my brain's still hooked on hard G. These famous walls, which can still be seen today. Although standing in opposition to Florentine designs, the auditory had cordial relations with the Medici family, largely due to their collective Florentine roots. Montagioni successfully withstood attacks from Florence until in until in 1554 the city was betrayed. Giovanni Zetti, the keeper of the garrison in the Florentine exile, was allowed to return to Florence in exchange for the keys to the city. Extraordinarily, the Auditori were allowed to continue their rule of Montagioni under Florentine leadership, showing that the Medici do not forget their friends. Casa Dolce Casa. Explore the Villa Auditori of Mario. So, tell me everything. Mario Auditori. One of the several con... Dottieri patrolling the Tuscan countryside, Mario Auditori played a significant role in the Battle of... Anghiari, alerting Michelato and Acendolo, I have no idea, to the appearance of several dust clouds over the road which signaled the surprise advance by Milanese troops. Thanks to Mario, the Milanese attack was followed and the Florentines won the battle. Although Mario sided with Florence in Anghiari, for most of his career he defended the entrance of his hometown, Montagioni, derailing Florentine attempts to seize Tuscan territory. While Mario's younger brother, Giovanni, moved to Florence in 1454 to pursue a career in banking, Mario stayed at the family's villa in Montagioni, stating in a letter to Giovanni that he preferred fighting like a man to filling out balance sheets. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? Get their assholes. I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I am keeping pace. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. <laughs> These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There's and we'll be upgrading this place. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I've never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting Intriguing. going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. Nag. Oh. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Fine. That's life, huh? Here we are. Casa I want Dolce to scan. Casa. I want so, to scan. It's most impressive, Uncle. Kind of run down. seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. And the coin. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, Uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. But he's dead. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? He died before he I could. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? What were you thinking, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. So I guess he was expecting. Expecting us to come along. And scan. I guess I have to really get up in its business. Power doesn't die. It's passed on. I guess that's kind of true. Descendants unlock the file. Ah. Oh, it's right there. I'm dumb. Oi. It's right there in the little diddly D. Don't you lie to me. Just 
Just need to look for the poorly photoshopped in thing. Oh, there it is. You think it would be in an actual place? No, it's just randomly there. Oh wait, I know what I need to do. I need to s synchronize with the villa. And then we can go about the business. Really bring this place to life. With all the investments we'll be doing. In Assassin tradition, he still becomes one with eagles. With the Geagles. You've heard of the Beatles. Now present the Geagles. I'll go ahead and deposit the feathers. Oh, wait, Codex. Codex thingy. Codex wall. Oh, yeah, this game. Do I even have a codex to add, or is it just automatically added? I think it's automatically added. I forgot that that codex wall was a thing. I still barely remember it being a thing. Just kind of an oh yeah. I'm sure you did not mean any of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Buy a pair of greaves and a dagger. But at the spoulders. Find leather greaves. And a dagger. Here you go, sir. Mention Ciao. me to your amici. Visit the doctor. No need to be shy. Come. You should feel better now. Take care. Buy some medicine. If there's nothing else, I, I shall. Perfection is not measured in coin. Well, actually, all the display. And now I shall buy. I see anything else? Ooh, Venetian Falcon, less deflection. None of these interest me. Dagger versus knife. Interesting. But I'll go ahead and get... Oh. I could save up for a bigger health boost. I'll save up for a bigger health boost. But at the same time, if you kill them, you don't need a health boost. I have a dagger. Would you like it? Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. You'd say that? No matter what. Hello, Uncle. Salute, Uncle. I did as you asked. I got greaves. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. But you still need to defend them. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me... For your mother and sister. Fine. Ottimo. Ottimo. Learn how to fight from Mario. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No Dang use it. dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. Bene. 
I've taught you how to avoid your enemies' attacks. I think we now skipped some dialogue. How to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you'd have the codex page he was holding as well. Codex? See, a guide to the inner workings of the Order. It's orders, purposes, and techniques. Our creed, if you will. Your father believed the Codex contained a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. Perhaps it's why they came for him. Assassins, Templars, Codex pages. This is a lot to take in. Strafing seems less reliable than just countering. Always remember, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Nothing is true. Nothing's permitted. I mean, we already knew counter. A intenzione di starte nell'impalato. Avanti, mi stai annoiando. Wish I could counter them. What are you? Or maybe I just can't uh, disarm this guy. You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. The guy has invisible arms. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued a nefarious work. What work? The Templars seek dominion over man. And we, the assassins, are sworn to stand against... Give me a sword. Was Uberto one of them? Yes. And the other names on my father's list. Templars as well. That means Vieri. Just like his father, Francesco. Come on. Likely the entire Pazzi family. Hey, it would explain many things. And now we can finally learn the escape skill. Now we must fight. It did work. How about some knife? Hmm. Elbow, snap. Elbow, snap. <laughs> A slap to the face. I win. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. Nope. We sail for Spain in three days. But, Nepote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike come against on, our come enemies. Come kill some people with and me, if your they uncle. Find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. <laughs> Uncle, so be wait. It. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. I <laughs> just love they just get super angry. Super angry. <laughs> and angrily Uncle. tells us to go. Have a good luck. Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stable. Thank you, my dude. Before leaving, check up on Maria. Uh, apparently, I learned the quick step still ag uh, skill again. 
and the taunt skill. Courier assignments unlocked. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't Understandable. Know what to do. He was a don't sick worry. little boy. She'll come back to us. I know it. If I gather enough feathers, she will. Have some feathers, mother. We can train if we want. But I think I'll just... Upgrade my armor before we leave. Repair. Oh yeah, the... There's weapon degradation in this game. Me forget. Oh yeah, we were saving up to get a bit more chest guard armor. Yes. yes. You seem rather rustic for my high quality. Care for all. Gavaro. Come along, horse. We ride. Is there anything in the countryside worth? Is there anything in the countryside worth caring about? Mm, there might be like unmarked things at the buildings, but. I'll quickly, can I, I can set my own custom marker. I'll quickly check that out before we leave this area, just because I can. And I'll probably just forget about it in the moment we leave, so. Best we take a chi, take a quick look, oh. It's probably just going to be a, like, chest at the back. Oh, no, that's wrong building. It's not even a building. It's not on the map. It's not on the map. It's not a building. But there is a feather. If only you could grapple the horse. Throw it around. Oh my god, how is he yeah. doing that? He's a monster. He wields a horse as if he wields a blade. Such is the power of the Assassin Order. Horse combat. But unlike in Assassin's Creed 1, you cannot hold it. So you have to actually time your swings. Without eliminating half of the animation. Fear me, I'm the Blenderman. You've heard of Slenderman. It's Blenderm time. Are you sure you want to go to Tuscany, Stan? Uh, G. Mini Genano. G. Mini Genano. Thieves are great at free running. There we have some mercenaries. Hmm, there's a memory start, but there's also a viewpoint. I'll have the viewpoint marked. As we make our way to the memory start. Whoa. Uncle, I have come. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene, then listen close. We're going to First, kill him. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? That is where we will go and murder the little man. And after we murder him, I can probably run around Tuscany as much as I want.
Interesting that there are like ruin-esque buildings out here. All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm uh, ready when good you old are. Th then throw us knives. Ah, oh, this is the gate that's suffering, is it? A la taco. Clear out them so they can't do anything. Taco time. Taco Tuesday. Be gone. Head to Taco Tuesday and die. I like that attacking with a sword from behind tends to give, like, greater kills. I'm slightly more notorious. Uh, Mario? Mario! Mario? Well done, Ezio. We are in. They way, put up my wanted poster really quickly. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Fieri. Va bene. Wait, so. Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. So go murder. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Fieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? I'll signal again when you should follow. You they must. Probably should have used some throwing knives. Be gone, guard man. You fly and now you die. Stab through the back, too. They just aren't watching it. Even when they are watching it. It's not enough. Now that calls for a flag in those two. A flag in or two indeed. Hmm. All done. I will climb this building and summon you when I am done. This is a big building. It makes you go around in a little semicircle before it lets you actually climb the building. Profound sadness. Ah, there's a herald that you can bribe. That's what that icon is. That you probably can't see because I'm probably blocking the minimap. So this place is mostly countryside. I could go down the normal way, or I could go down the dumb way. Dumb way seems better. Special place for him to Enough. Cut him off. Lol. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Now that that is is nice nice it would seem. And you've been uh, annihilated, have you? Ezio! Your uncle's under attack and needs help! Go to him! Ah, nice try! Ah, no! There you are! 
It seems my plan is to do something of a fact. Yearly men ample, and now it's not a plan. Wish I had some balls. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See that justice is served. Go on ahead, you say. Uh, there's a box here. I shall take it. And this place has a bibbity bomb that I need. Actually, there are two buildings here that have what I need. And this one's right here. So I take. It's getting easier and easier to hack into Abstergo's mainframe. It's like I know what data I'm looking for. Like I've already lived it. You are becoming data. You are becoming the next generation. Infinite knowledge. Uh huh. It's open mouth. Of delivers a kiss of death. Oh, duh. Leading the young to their end. Oh, that was odd. The flames from his throat poke out their eyes. Oh, right over here. It's just in random places. At least we're getting them quickly. Ezio, what are you doing? Run after him! Yes, 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 I'm just, uh... It was this building that has the... Special, did it? Quickly take a look of the database. Locations. Nope, that was the only one. For this area. So far. I think. I could be wrong, though. I could be dumb. Hmm. Filter all. Ah, glyphs in Florence. Ah, here it is. The Tori da 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 da. So it is here. There is one here. Somewhere. Wish there was less flashy flash. Aha! There you are. Hiding from me. Like a worm. Enter into my mind. Hey, do you see what's going on? <sighs> Not yet. But you will. But I will. Instruments of power. Musical instruments? Cut down by their enemies, I assume. Oh yeah, cutting hair. How are they wielded? Cut down their enemies. Hmm. Well, power they wielded cut down their enemies. So I think still you. Game, will you be gone? How are they wielded? Let's check their names. Attila the Hun, wielded, cut down their enemies. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any cutting there. Cutting there, that is a sword. 
Not you, though. 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 Hmm, so one of the other ones is wrong, too. Hmm. Because cutting... He's cutting... That's definitely cutting. And again, this one is Sigmund Norse. That one feels like it should be. That one feels like it should be, but the uh, but the others all say wrong. Hmm. doesn't make much a sense to me. This is cut, but power they wielded. Because again, that one, that one. Because uh, it's wielding a sword, but maybe he's not, oh, but he's not cutting. But there doesn't seem to be much cutting going on anywhere else. I'm very annoyed by this one. Just trying to think, because again, they don't have the diddly d doesn't make much sense to me. Because again, this one makes sense because they're cutting his hair. This one makes sense because he's wielding, he's fighting a monster. It was just like DDDD. -D -D -D. Hmm, but it could be that power they wield it, so you wouldn't do it because you're not the one wielding the power. And he wielded power, but there isn't much cutting, but at the same time, power they wielded. He's wielding power. No, no, hmm. Okay, I don't know, but... Hate. Hmm. Okay. Weirdness. Wasn't very clear there. I just kind of guessed. Randoms like blur. In their hands, the wise lean on great force. Lean. That's a walking stick, so we need to. Ah, oh, maybe that's it. We're looking for a similar object in each one. Staff. We're looking for a staff in each one. Uh, yeah, okay, that one's a bit easier once we know no. Good to know no. Kind of mean to be like, oh, we mean cut as in sword when. No, that's not what you meant at all. You didn't mean sword, you said cut. If you mean sword, say sword. But okie doke, in the few, in another one that says, hey. <laughs> so it's probably around here somewhere. How is anyone supposed to see the, the f my face from there? I'll climb it and keep an eye out for any red glints. Go around the corner. Dude, you can go around the co You could go around the goddamn corner. That's what it's, <laughs> it's there for. Game's like, no, you can't go around the corner. Why not? We don't want you to. 
Oh, but magically this one will allow me to. Oh yes, yeah, so it has more of an edge. Doesn't look like I care. Thing sticky outy. I should be able to go. Oop, I think I saw glitch flash. A bit of a hint there. Give to me. There were mostly heroes. See how the lineage is disrupted? The web of history traps the good, and the evil take what is not theirs. That's odd, but sure. Brothers, unlock the file. Ah, this one's easy. Uh, just gotta match with the unmovable inner ring. And then from there... What, 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 what the fuck? Okay. Because it needs to be here. Oh. Alright, so... If this needs to be here... Oh, man, we can just do that, I guess. There we go. Oddly, not that hard at the end. Because it was able to beep, 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 beep. There we go. Now we're just getting into silliness. So then we can just port them back. Except for the outer one. Now we just need to put the outer one. So you really don't even need to solve that much of a puzzle most of the time. Most of the time, it's just solve it and then put it back. <laughs> There's a lot in this one. Okay. Why does this one feel like it doesn't fit in the middle? This one doesn't feel like it fits at all. What the hell? Aha! There we go! Oh, actually. More like that. Let me do that. Then we just assign you back. We come back in. Fix. That one was just odd. The brain was just trying to process how things go. Behold, the mark of Cain. Really? Interesting. And we're going quite far. Very interesting. 
We still go up. We still go up. Okay, we can synchronize and keep going on our way. We just... Tuscany must be very small to be running into all of the, like, hidden points so quickly. At least that one wasn't as bad as the... Frickin' cut clue. Where is he from? What outlandish gear? You have no business here! That could be I do. There! There! We must kill them! They're in the way! Wow, you died quickly. Leave my mercenary alone! Sure, we're now killing the guard, but the there's a codex in here, and I flew a little bit. Ooh, codexes are actually noted down? On the map now? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And is that who I think it is? It is. Notoriety has been lowered. Murder is the best response. Noble prices for noble. But we still don't have the money for chest piece. I must get up there. Stay there. I must get on the building. Checkpoint is reached. So if the game crashes, yay. It's the man in black. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Mercenary? Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo. Jacopo. Your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There Too will much be resources. plenty of time to clean up the refuti when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. Oh, hey, is that, father of understanding is that sign off that was used in the conference room? Commandante! Diddly Commandante! Deep. What? Back in the first Mario game. Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. <laughs> he just brings out the Warhammer. No. That way is too obvious. Unless it won't let me climb, but I think it will. I've been looking forward to this for a long, long Come on, let me grab you. Come on, attack me again. Dang it. There we go. And a punch to your face, too. Just as you deserve, little worm man. Little worm man. Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. What are you hoping for a confession? And now time for Super Stab. For a solo che avesse sofferto di più. I have fought the fine that you deserve. Spero que prove. Enough, Ezio. Show some respect. Respect. After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. A good line. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. I couldn't even read it. It went by too fast. But database. Recent entries. Guess that didn't even count. Uh, documents.
Fragiotto? Mr. Francesco. No, I don't think so, Blair. Gave me thing I can't even read. Now will we be pulled out of the animus or not? There is lots of glitches going on. Will the world begin to crumble? It's taking a while to do that. Uh, there we go. Just taking it a bit. I was just like, um, is something wrong? Oh, we're back. And now I have enough butter. Hmm. I think, because uh, this will be a rebuilding minigame, so I think I'll, like, uh, hold it to that. I'll spend my money venerating uh, this place or whatever. Uh, brain not think of word good. And here he is. Our campione, Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey, Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto el We can drink all day. E a puttane. <laughs> what? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. Learn about the Villa Disc and discover the Codex pages hidden there. The Pazzi answer to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful Borgia. men of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Given the chance, then given I the chance. I stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil. And Firenze must be saved. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Oh, there we go. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is rash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him. As you he, he murders Beyond people because he wants to be loved. Interesting. Brother. And now, can we finally use the wall? Can we finally use the wall? Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. Altair. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? We don't Solving know. that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return Bene. here when time permits and we'll add it to the wall. But there's a glowy glow out here. What is this glow? Ah, I can find things and put them here for things. Good. When can I renovate city? 
When can I renovate God? Hmm. Is he actually outside? Where are you? Was this web? Ah, I'm way ahead of you, game. I already did that. Because I don't like having my map be uh, a bunch of pixels that I cannot visualize good. Hope that didn't break the game somehow. Well, <laughs> that's why they have the interact button. Why is the game breaking? Oh, well, you scanned it too early before we tutorialized it. But I want to scan it! Kind of silly. We found codex pages, but not the codex pages that were right in front of us. That feels <laughs> stupid. Find philosophical codex pages. I will go grab all the codex in the area, now that they are revealed to me. Which should make them relatively easy to find and grab. All things considered, I'll go ahead and mark the other one. You have acquired one, one, codex page, one. One, 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 one. Codex page, one. Listen well. I also have all the Listen well, ghost town. Imagine if you were like a town crier for a ghost town. And just kept doing the job even though nobody's there. The ghosts need to hear the news too. So obviously, Mario had to have placed those there for us, or else he is very, very dumb. Does that make me Luigi? Or would that make Giovanni Luigi? Did Luigi die? I think Luigi died. That sucks. Luigi has become the ghost. Sadness that Luigi is dead. Hey, hey! I wonder how many of these characters are actual, like, historical characters and not, like, constructions. Constructions. Yes, horse, I exist within you. Shut up. And... I guess the game will, t will tell me. We got lots of money. Now tell me, game. We return to the villa. Go check on Claudia. Horse cannot climb. You are... You are an insult to your Skyrim ancestors. A complete insult. A fool. I leave you at the stables. Feed yourself microwave hay. With leeches. He aims to heal with latches. Quit murdering each other. Let's see, where are you? Are you down here or are you up there? Ah, you were down here. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. <laughs> this is outrageous. What's happened? He's, He's making, making me work. work. <laughs> if Claudia was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. I have oh, money. Oh, great. More work for <laughs> me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, 
Travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. Straight You're going for you. to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Right. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. I like Capital. how that explains Deal. the function of the this mechanic relatively nicely. So we get 159... Hmm. Hi, I talk to you. I talk Buongiorno. to you. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, <laughs> not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money, eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Yeah. Uncle! I like this architect. <laughs> he gets very observant when he can smell mud. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. <laughs> if I Uncle, I shop, like you, this architect. You, can purchase goods there <laughs> you in rates. brackets, as a landlord. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? What shall fixed up? So, art merchant. Let's see. We can add a brothel for 3,000. Reopening the mines will increase value. Renovating the church. Fixing the well. Hmm. Are you sure you want to renovate? Sure. Level 1 bank. Let's go ahead and add a art merchant. Go ahead and add... Dilly D. <laughs> Add Thieves Guild. No idea why we'd want to renovate that and why it would increase, but sure. And renovate the brothel. Why not? Buon viaggio. And now the value has increased a billion fold. Hello, Uncle. Uncle, I speak of thee. It's you, my boy. Tis of thee. I think it's time I showed you something. Magic? Considering th past and future Assassin's Creeds. Probably is magic. We go into the underground catacombs. This is where we have a god sealed away. Yes, uncle. Yes, uncle. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. Really? And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. Bomb. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia. Hidden tombs filled And you never treasure. thought to go after them yourself? were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought this six myself. With no success. You fool. Perhaps you will have better luck. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with that... One moment, eh? Thing of things.
Technology. Technology. Ezio, you have to get that armor. And it'll be a bit because I remember the crypts being a tad hard. So that'll be interesting to do eventually. Let's see, anything else? Is it just return? Yep, just return now. Well, <laughs> my income is zero, Florence. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? So, we get a thousand diddly d every 20 minutes. Huzzah. Interesting that actually shows you everything. Now it'll make me want to hoard my money and only spend it when we get back. Don't think I have much to buy, but we can check out the artist. See if he has any cheap paintings. Well, what do you know? Cheap paintings. Grazie for your patronage. <laughs> Went up 33 florins. But I think we'll go ahead, head back to Florence, decode the codexes that we got, and then probably end it there. Because we've been going for uh, well over three hours now. Because, yeah, it's just been really clicking with me, Assassin's Creed, lately. It's been really vibing with it. Go to Florence. It is me. I punch you. I punch you in the Matrix. Still love that loading. <laughs> the way the world loads in. Ah, so a year has passed? A year or two. That's many 20 minutes. Quite a few 20 minutes indeed. Actually, we'll visit him. And then we'll go about finish everything. That is, that needs to be finished, the... Towers. Knock, knock. Ezio, you are still alive. Indeed. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I killed a man. I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. More murder. Anything for you, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha! You found another one. How exciting! I found five. Six. Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see Ooh, it? Wait, what's that? Other things? It's not so much a design this time. Just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? <laughs> of course. And why not? <laughs> what an inspired idea. Can you make Two. it for me while I try what's in <laughs> that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. <laughs> some dummies. Hey, Vincenzo! He has an assistant. We never see him, do we? Practice the new assassination techniques. Six codex pages deciphered. Hell yeah. One health square gained. We can assassinate and drag you in with the surprisingly lifelike mannequins. <laughs> assassinate in both. Doing so in low decreases chance of being detected. Why is there blood in there? Vincenzo, did you use real bodies for these you are a very freaky man and now it's much easier to do the cool shit you could do air assassinations before but 
they were scuffed. In this game, they perfected it. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. A second one. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non I think. Because I think we don't get the gun until There's long, long later. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. <laughs> Fisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Start then, to amico. Be safe. Safety and peace, Leonardo da Vinci. And now we'll go do the viewpoints, because we might come across things on the way. And I'd hate to just... I wonder if the guard care if I bump into them or not. <laughs> Second hidden blade acquired. Huzzah. I wonder who his idea it was. It's just like... How do we, like, make Assassin's Creed 2 all the better? You know how the standout feature of Assassin's Creed 1 was the hidden blade? What if there was a second hidden blade? <gasps> no. Yes. No. <laughs> I wonder what made them choose. Hmm. Is that a feather? I'll go ahead and grab it. Oh dear god, there are so many... Oh dear god. Well, fine. I'll just clear out the city, I guess. I'll grab that feather while I'm here. And there's a thing in this area. What? I cannot see. I was just here, my dude. Ah, in this area. I think there's another feather. And I think here it is. Thank you. And that's why I kind of want to... Well, I guess I could stop and we can do everything else. Oh, no. First, plucked from a tree, guarded by a snake, its powers perform miracles. Then, worn across the ages, torn asunder, hidden under a sea of red, reconstructed the timeline. Hmm, I don't know. Is there... Red. There's a bit of red there. What's to do with you? Because, all right. Guarded by a snake, so maybe red with snake? I guess that kind of looks snake-like. That's definitely a snake. Hmm. Wait. Torn asunder, hidden under the sea. Um, hmm. Hmm. Is there a snake in there? I do see quite a lot of red, so maybe... There's red there, and there's red. Okay. SPQR. Christ... Uh, huh. One of that is. They took it. Shroud. Ah, huh, interesting. Weird and interesting. Hmm. But yes, hmm. We have been going for a decent amount of time. 
we'll do this one final leap of faith, and then I think we will end the stream, because we've been going for a decent bit. And I think that... Ah, oh, that's... Alright, that's odd. Let me walk, please. I said let me walk. How can you walk? I can't, the game won't let me. I want to do this one final leap of faith. And then we'll have to see what happens next time. You're not allowed up here. Leave. You're not allowed up here. Leave. Why don't you leave yourself? You won't. But yeah, so far this has been very smooth, except for the crash. Which forced things. Can I climb on the cross? It's the perfect handhold. Oh, that's why. Because we don't even go all the way up. Goody, good, good. Good, good, goody, good, good. Caca. Codex. We're going to grab that codex. Grab codex and then we'll end. I know, I know. I keep saying, oh, this and then we'll end. Oh, this and then we'll end. But this is a codex. He's very important to me. Who even leaves in blocked off bibbity bobs? Ah. I'm sorry, sir. I saw that vessel. So if you're not wanted, the guards won't bother you. That's nice to know. Be gone. <laughs> Hilarious. And stab. <laughs> and stab again. Hey, come on. Double stab in the eyes or the nose. And just a full on throw. And now this codex is mine. I wonder who would even be holding the codex. Who would want it? Why would it be there? I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. And I'll just tear that off. And that I'm shall be it for now. We went and did a lot of things. Did just a lot and lot and lot and lot. And it was very good. So, yeah, Assassin's Creed 2 is very fun. Feels very like... Uh, What's the word? Uh, polished compared to Assassin's Creed 1. Uh, both visually, the gameplay, the fact that they really went above and beyond to be like, hey, let's add m and make it easier to do the things you want to do. You still have to suffer a bit of the contextual button press things that are like, ooh, you're going to jump in this weird way, or the way you climb is a bit weird. But that's just with the contextual running about overall. But yeah, this game, love it. Absolutely fantastic, love it. And I can't wait to play more. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can catch the previous streams on a YouTube channel called Neon Icy Games, where games like the Mass Effect trilogy, Undertale, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and Digimon Survive have all been played through and uploaded there. But... If you're one of those people already watching the Archive channel, you can catch me playing these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you want to know exactly when I'll go live, I have a schedule. I try to use the schedule tab as much as possible for when I'm going to go live. At least a few hours beforehand, generally around the same time of kind of 5 to 6 o'clock Central Standard Time p.m. Should be. But if you want to stay super up to date, you can follow me on Twitter and I'll send out a tweet saying that I'm going live. 
And similar to that, if you want to see art of mine, like my little avatar in the corner, haha, <laughs> you can, again, follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, or Newgrounds. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.